Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. This is the ball culture segment. PJ here, Mark and Mark still here, but we have some special guests. These are my family, bro. My family. We got yes, RJ and Phil. What's up? How are you guys yeah, doing? What up, what up, what up? Hey, that's what it is. Now, I invited you here because you grew up in the Filipino community, the Filipino leagues, and people knew you, you know? Dream large, dream big. <laughs> Let's talk about starting off. Starting, like, you guys were the brothers. Everyone knew you as the brothers. You know, I looked at Phil. I, I was, I, Phil was my idol, bro. We played Brock, you know, good yeah. basketball player, and then trained you, and then we played together as well. Before all that, we were family friends from... You don't want to share that with the... With the <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to share that with everybody? No, it's, it's okay. We're, we're, you know, we're a family. That's how it is. But this is about you. So let's talk about the beginning. So maybe we'll start with Phil and your basketball journey. When, how did you fall in love with basketball? And yes, let's start from that story. How did I fall in love with basketball? Uh, to be honest, I was just, it was just the culture. You know, I, I, I see my pops playing... <laughs> What's wrong? Bro? Yeah, what is, 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 uh, I forgot there's no cutting on there. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, my, 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 my dad played a lot of basketball, so I would tag along and watch him play. And, and then, obviously, Michael Jordan, you know, I grew up in the Philippines, and we could only watch, I think, a couple games a week. You mm -hmm. know, but we knew who Michael Jordan was, and just being a kid and watching him, and, you know, I'm bald because of him. <laughs> you know what I mean? but, but he made it. He made basketball really stand out for me, and I just fell in love with the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, RJ, mm -hmm. when how did you fall in love with basketball? Uh, for me, it would be, kind of be the same. Um, we used to play outside all the time, us three, me, Philly, and Pops. Um, and then obviously, Big Bro would have his games and stuff, and I'd always have to watch. And then just made me fall in love with the game, watching Kobe. Kobe was my idol growing up. And, um, yeah, I just, that's how mm. it went. Mm. Did he ever, like, try to make it hard for you to play so then you would want to play badly? Or is that, of like, course, a Of course, of course. He beat me up all the time. I'd always, <laughs> I'd always used to cry, man. I always even, used even, to cry. Yeah, I always, I always used to, like, run, cry to my pops, cry to my moms, you know, tell them that he's bullying me and shit. Mm -hmm. But, I, <laughs> I know. But, but, um, yeah, no, it just made me tough, you know. Mm. Uh, it pushed me, it made me who I am today, and I'm thankful for it. Mm -hmm. What was the first team you guys played for, and like organized basketball? I mean, and how was that experience like? The first, first Fili team, yeah. Filipino? Anything, Filipino team or even rep team, um, yeah, just uh, to go back. To be honest, uh, maybe like CYO Rebel. Mm, like, yeah. I was St. Catharines. So you grew up in St. Catharines. Yeah. So. You know, back then, we couldn't, I remember, <clears throat> I, you, I, it's AU now, but it was select back then. Mm -hmm. And I remember I made the team, but we couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, but the coach, you know, they, they kind of, they, they made something happen, and, and I was fortunate enough to play, but yeah. you know, that, I think that was back in the day. That's how I started playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. you too? See, yeah, yeah. Uh, St. Catherine Rebels, CYO Rebels. Mm -hmm. A little house league to start off with and then turned into select team and then Filipino leagues came around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What Filipino team? Yeah. Uh, did they recruit you or did you? Yeah, we used to travel. Yeah. Oh, no, travel. we used to play in Hamilton first. There was a, there was a league in Hamilton before, it was like before Saga, mm -hmm. before Mississauga. And then um, we used to travel from St. Catherine's to Hamilton to Mississauga every weekend just to play in the Playing the leagues. Yeah. Mm. Which team did you guys decide to play for? Because I know I'm pretty sure there's. Yeah. I know there's a lot of competitions in terms of like you know teams the politics in yeah. Filipino. Yeah, league, you right? want you to play for like a, their team. Like which yeah. te was it hard to make that decision? Or what made you guys decide to play for a certain team? Like is there like we started with Lacan, right? Yeah. No, oh, no. To be honest, uh, people probably don't know this, but we started in Hamilton. Mm -hmm. We weren't really known, you know. Cause we were, the Hamilton was yeah, Filipino. Yeah, Hamilton? We're from yeah, yeah. Oh, from St. Oh, Catharines, yeah. you know. So nobody oh. really knew us around yeah. here and. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a lot of Filipinos out here in the city. Like, you know, I was so, I, I lived in, in St. Kitts, um, where I was like the only Filipino there, you yeah. know? But we, we would travel to Hamilton, and then uh, I started playing for Vaughn. We started playing for oh, Vaughn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah that, <laughs> we started playing for Vaughn. Remember we went to Chicago? Yeah. yeah. I remember that tournament. Um, the Atlanta Hawks jerseys. And then after mm -hmm. Vaughn, we went to Saga. Yeah. I started with Lacan. Mm -hmm. I went to Lacan and then kind of just stuck with Lacan. I played for a couple of teams here and there, you know, just try to get her fit. 
And then I said, scratch all that, I'm making our own team. Mm -hmm. That's how Dream Large started. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was pretty much it. Yeah. That, was, that was the history. Mm -hmm. Any memorable moments from Filipino League? Obviously, there's NABA and the big tournaments, but is there anything that stands out and that you just revisit all the time? Yeah. Maybe some of the rivalries that you guys like face or some of the like, teams. Just call them out right now. Just call them out like, so we can cut it up. Like, for players me. that you guys hated <laughs> me, and wanted me, to be. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of memories watching um, this guy hitting game winners mm -hmm. when I was like a little you, you know? He, I was watching him hitting game winners, going crazy. Um, yeah, and then... Just the rivalries. Favorite person to play against in the Filipino League or team? Team that you just maybe hated the, because they keep like they kicking talk, like they yeah. talk some garbage or <laughs> yeah. maybe there was some drama. I like don't know. Falcons. Falcons. Yeah. 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 What, what, what are they called? Scarborough Falcons or whatever? Yeah. 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 Falcons. I would love playing against them. I, I would like to play against like, because when I was, uh, when we were younger, um, our team would sometimes play up, right? Play play against guys that are like a year or two older than us, and that's what I look forward to, going up against mm -hmm. the better guys and the more talented guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, Phil, any memorable Filipino moments? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a couple uh, a couple game winners. You know, it's, on, it's on tape. <laughs> it's on, it's on, on tape. video. You gotta go and check it out. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know uh, back then, like, they, um, I mean, the 24 for Life guys, they have, like, rivalries. Like, they can remember all these games and players that they yeah, wanted to yeah. go up Listen, against. Listen, I never... Yeah. I, I, those guys are cool, you know. Yeah. They're, they're 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 nice. They're, they're they could play, but growing up, I, I was different. Yeah. You know, I never really. I thought I was the best yeah. Filipino that I ever played. Facts. Yeah. yeah. And that's I how that's how I felt. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought I was gonna be the first Filipino to make it to the league. Yeah. And if facts, you weren't facts. dreaming like that, or if you weren't believing that in yourself at a young age, then I don't know, like, you know. But yeah. once I started seeing competition. Um, I started like you know I started saying oh well, maybe I'm not the only Filipino that can hoop out here. <laughs> but it makes yeah. you it makes you push yourself. But you better. push yourself. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But rivalries, I have a couple yeah. co like a couple guys like older guys, you know, because it's different. Mm -hmm. Like we we played, but we're seven years apart. Yeah. So when my my best rivalries, I, I would say the Falcon guys, like mm -hmm. my guys Teddy, my guys uh, Alan Garcia, you know. Um, they, 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 were, they were good. That was like my generation, you know, and, and mm -hmm. those guys always, they could play, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it was kind of, those guys were the guys, but then I would coach him and, and our squad and... And then our team was All in, over. probably the all in, coached by Justin, Justin Oy. That was my favorite rivalry, coaching. That was a good one too. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. Justin could coach, he's a hell of a coach. Mm -hmm. But as a player, yeah, 25 for life, they were up there too, I didn't really... I like those guys, but I didn't really like those guys. You know, I wanted to beat those <laughs> guys, and it was hard, man. It took me a, a, a couple of years to even get a W mm -hmm. against those guys, but those guys could play, and they brought the best out of me and the best comp. I'm a competitive guy, you know, so we would clash. We would go at it. Mm. Can you talk about maybe your trading with each other, like coach and, you know, brother, the relationship? How do you guys, you know, feed off each other during training sessions, and I don't know, what, what do you guys focus on? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know, man. I just, whatever he just put me through, it just made me tough. That's what I feel. Mm. Uh, and it made me ready for whatever came my way, you know? Um, yeah, uh, I remember I remember these workouts like it was yesterday, man. It just... Uh, you went, I remember, I think, March break, you came, your, your parents drove Catholic, you down. right? You yeah. remember? I think your parents drove you down for Running the Running hills and sprints yeah, yeah, and all yeah, yeah. that. We played at that court and we were school. practicing. Yeah. I wasn't even a trainer, I was still a player, but... Yeah. Uh, he, always had, he always had an act of yeah. making someone better or mm -hmm. developing the person, not even just as a player, though, mm -hmm. just as, as a person, right. you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and if, for the players that are out there that I previously trained before, if you guys thought I was crazy on you, I was crazy on this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. like I was, Patrick there, knows, yo, yeah. Patrick there, knows. There was times, like, you know, eating dinner <laughs> would, would be very awkward, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I just, just, yeah, you know, has it changed the way you've seen him? Because maybe when you were young, you thought he was just trying to like um, really make you feel like you know like, um, like a certain I, way. And then yeah. has it changed throughout the years? Have you seen how it's helped you now and well, you get I mean, a different perspective? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as a as a little kid, yeah. you would think that he's just you know like you hate him. It's yeah. like the word hate is like oh. I, I hate you, Kuya, you know? Like, <laughs> you, run up, you run upstairs and you like, cry or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't let me touch the ball or whatever. But yeah. as the years went on, um, 
I don't know, it just, like I said, it just developed me to who I am. And uh, that's, yeah, that's how I looked at it. I didn't, I didn't look at it as in any negative way. Like, even if he was mad at me, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if he's coaching me or whatever, let's say we're in a game mm. and he gets mad at me or whatever, he's on the court. When we're in the car, like, you know, he'll be mad, but then he'll, he'll talk mm. me through it. Like, he'll show me what's, what, what's wrong, this and that, what I got to fix. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but my dad too. That would be those would be awkward moments. <laughs> those would be awkward drives on the way home, where I'm just like, yo, it's just a game. But you know, yeah. that's what you think as a kid. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Now, just to end part one, since we're gonna we'll come back for part two, I just want to hear you guys describe each other's games. So, like, if you could describe RJ's game and then RJ describe Phil's game. Who started? Cool. And it's up to you. Whatever, whoever who yeah. wants to go. I want to hear this. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, yeah. Yeah, how game. would you describe Phil's game? Uh, um, what do you call it? Right, well, before, he was a killer, yo. He was a killer. He had that, like, Kobe mentality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it, you know, like, there's, in players, it's rare. It's rare to have that, that, clutch menta- that clutch factor, you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. mentality, that killer mentality, and that's what I tried to, ha- tried to have growing up. But um, not everyone can have a clutch fa- that clutch factor, you know, when, that, when the game's on the line. Mm-hmm. People, people shake. Are, people like, are they don't want to touch it. the ball. <laughs> people are shaking yeah. it. But, um, yeah, yeah I would say that's his game, man. He's clutch. He could, he could not score the whole fourth quarter, and then he'll score the last bucket. Uh, that counts, you know what I mean? So um, clutch. Uh, he loves the mid-range. And Maybe like a player, like never reminds you like the way he's player, yeah. what you thought of, of how he Raymond played. Raymond Felton, is yeah. that? Yeah. Raymond Felton. I'm going to see it. Some, 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 we always think no, we no, play no. a certain way, and then somebody else sees the yeah, way we play true. and yeah, says, yeah, yeah. "Do you actually play like this, not this?" And then we're all like yeah. shocked, like, yeah. "Oh, I actually play that." This guy said Raymond Felton. You had that prepared, huh? That was quick. That's gonna go in the car, and like during the car ride, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, a player, who, who would I say? I don't fuck, fair as dear. <laughs> Kobe, I don't know. Oh, tell him, tell him. That's a big That's that's When he was in his prime, though. When yeah. he was in his prime, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Now, yeah. Derek Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if y'all remember Derek, Derek Martin. Martin. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Philly, your turn. How would you uh, describe his you know, game? Athletic. You could call me LeBron in the Philippines. No, no. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's athletic. That's one thing he had over me. His, mm-hmm. his athleticism was. Even from a young age, like, he used to dribble the ball in the house, jumping around the house. My mom used to get mad so many times because he'd be dribbling the balls, hitting the, the pan, like, you know? Um, but he was, he was always jumping. Yeah. He was always active. As a kid, I was just trying to touch everything. Like, he's yeah. like, oh, do you think I could touch that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're not balling. You're not balling. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's that. what gave me the house. So. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Was, uh, his game is athletic. Um, now... Like even like a couple, of, let's let's say this past five six years, like his IQ, you know, he he's he knows the game a lot better than I do. You know, he can control the game a lot better than I ever did. You know, I was a, I was a score, score first point guard, score, score, you yeah. know, and where his game now is he's a he's a he's a point guard. Do whatever you know? it takes to win, mm. help the and, team. And um, yeah, it's, it's athleticism. He's just he's different, right. purebred too. Mm-hmm. That's true. Pure breath Filipino. Pure. Hey, <laughs> just Filipino. Had to put that in there. <laughs> Dude. All right, thank you guys. That was part one. When we come back next episode, we'll talk about you know basketball and coaching specifically. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for part one. Mark, anything you'd like to say? No, no. thing. Uh, stay tuned, guys, for part two. But keep following us on Pinoy Bounds, Instagram, YouTube, yeah. Facebook. Yes, sir. All these are cut off, and then you guys can watch them. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Stay balling, guys. Yes, sir.